Abby here, also known as xosailormars.tumblr.com. I'm here today with another Sailor Moon inspired tutorial for you guys. So, I don't know if you guys were all here or remember or anything, but a couple months ago I did a uh, giveaway to celebrate 400 followers. Now, now I'm a little bit far past 400 followers and I'm very thankful for every one of my 2,050 followers. You guys are the best. But I noticed during that giveaway time that on the reblogs and the comments and stuff of the giveaway, that the thing that people were most excited about were my custom pair of Sailor Moon shoes. So today, as I make the winner's pair, I decided to take you guys with me to show you how I make my Sailor Moon decoupage shoes so that you can make your own someday. How does that sound? All right, so it turns out that a good friend of mine, Katie Silver Moon Fortune 4, actually ended up winning my giveaway. I promise it was not rigged in the slightest. If I had rigged it, I would have rigged it for someone a little bit closer to me, so I would have to pay uh, for so much shipping, but what are you gonna do, right? So the shoes I found for her were basic enough for me to do, but they involved some fixing. I actually have the same pair of shoes in my size here. What's important to start off with is you pick a pair of white shoes. And because manga the paper is so thin, you don't want a color to shine through because it could mess up the images or whatever, so pick white shoes. The main issue with these white shoes is this business going on at the front here. I bought it anyway and figured I could just cut it off and that ended up being a journey in itself. Before. After. Someone somewhere worked very hard to make these shoes and here I am massacring it with the blade of my, my hair scissors. How the fuck do I get that off? <laughs> yeah, no, not gonna work. <laughs> it looks beautiful, don't you think? I got it half off and now the scissors are stuck! Can't believe that took as long as it did. Now I have to do the other shoe. <laughs> Finally! Uh. And two hours later, they were finally done. So anyway, after that, what I would strongly suggest is uh, taking uh, sandpaper or something and roughing up the shoes because shoes are naturally made to be shiny and nice and pretty and that is exactly opposite of what you want because glue doesn't really stick to things that are shiny and nice and pretty, so rough it up and make your lives easier. Okay, next you're gonna want white craft glue, like school glue, it's the brand is usually Elmer's, you know, comes in the bottle with the orange lid. You know, I got a combo pack of them at the dollar store, you're going to need that, and I'm gonna dump all the contents of a bottle of that into a jar, and then refill that bottle with water, so you're getting equal parts glue, equal parts water, put it together, and mix! That is going to be your magical glue mixture for this project. And then you're going to need to take a paintbrush, you have that glue, and your paintbrush. You're gonna take this to the shoes, but you need something to put on the shoes. And Katie is a big fan of Sailor V, so I took my beautiful copy of Sailor V Volume 1, and I cut it all up. It's so cut up and sad. It probably doesn't look cut up to you guys. Look at this. Can we just look at this? <laughs> you know, though it's worth it, I'll just go out and buy myself a new one someday, but... And so you take it, and honestly, I would recommend you go through it and you find way more pictures than you're going to need because it's better to have more than not enough and not like you're going to be able to read the book after you cut it half of it in pictures anyway. So might as well go back or go home and make sure you put them all in a safe place where they're not going to get blown away or fall over anything. I happen to have this handy dandy little envelope that I don't actually know where it came from but that's what was holding the pictures while I did that. And then so after that it comes to putting the pictures onto the shoes. Now if you're a planner you can sort of Map it out, blueprint it, however you want to do it, but I just kind of go for it, <laughs> kind of dive in. And there's stuff everywhere. You kind of, essentially you take your piece of manga, your picture, and you slather the glue on the back and you stick it onto the shoe and hope for the best. You know, you gotta tweak it, push the sides down, whatever you gotta do, until you have the whole shoe covered. Myself, I prefer to do the whole shoe in sort of rectangular shapes rather than, rather than like little things because I don't like empty spaces and then I like to do a big picture on the front of the shoe like Katie has Mina and I have uh, Memo and Usagi. So then after that you have to leave it probably overnight to dry because it's going to be covered in glue 
Not only is it going to be covered in glue, but so are you. You're going to get so much glue everywhere. Do not even worry about it though. It's kind of gross. Gross? Glue all over me. Ooh, angry Artemis. So then the thing is, the next day after that, you're probably going to glue it again because you're going to have lots of corners that fold it up and look gross. And so you're going to have to re glue those down, you know, cut them, do whatever you have to do to make these shoes fit perfectly. That's that's probably the most boring step is the next day. And then you've got to slather everything with glue again, make sure everything's down, nothing's going anywhere. And then we let's try overnight again. The last thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to invest in a some sort of covering spray. I think mine is called Triple Thick. It's over there at the moment. I just used it. So I actually can't show you the shoes in progress because they're still wet. So I really shouldn't be touching them. But you're going to want to and stuff the shoes with newspaper or something so that you don't get the spray inside because that would just feel gross on your feet. And then you're going to need to take it outside because you need to be well ventilated when you spray the stuff because it gets everywhere. And it's better to do thin coats than thick coats because obviously then they don't dry properly. So take it outside to your driveway, it's where I do it, and spray it. Leave it to dry for hours probably more hours is you know better, better than less you need to be super dry and then do it again i usually do like three coats of the spray stuff oh crap i stepped this on the <laughs> i have no idea what i'm doing though. i know so crikey when you spray shoes you want to make sure you get all the sides covered Work. You're falling out of my chair in the process. But Abby, look how freaking prickly these are. And then that's it. You got shiny, nice looking Sailor Moon shoes. That's it. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, you can put them down here in the comment box if you're watching this on YouTube, or you can shoot me a message. Like I said before, my Tumblr is XO Sailor Bars. .tumblr.com. You can send me a message there. Uh, you can also submit me your pictures if you end up making the shoes because I'm really interested to see them, how they turn out if you make them. If you have, you know, a better way to do it, if I forgot something, if I was unclear, you know, tell me and I'll fix it. Whatever you want to show me or tell me, you just shoot it on over there or here and I would love to hear from you guys. So that's it for me today. Bye guys. Wait, can you use that to spray that really like prickly plant that almost killed me? <laughs>